hello friends today we are going to install the timing gear in Perkin phaser engine if you can watch the complete video you will be able to install the timing gear easily first apply the silicone on the body for the gasket enhance the timing marks on the crankshaft place the gasket on the cylinder block apply the light film of silicone on the timing case this is the timing mark for the idler gear this is idle gear these are the timing marks on the other gears we are going to install this is the fuel pump gear there you can see the timing mark on the fuel pump gear place the timing case onto the block after applying the light film of silicone and the gasket install the bolts all the bolts which have the threads inside the block the purpose of timing gear is to ensure that the valves are opening and closing at the right time to best fill the cylinder with air fuel mixture as well as to release all of the spent fumes from the exhaust cycle of a cylinder if you know that rule you can easily install the timing gear This is the camshaft gear and the crankshaft gear. This is idle gear. First we will install it temporary. To show you the timing marks for making the video align the timing marks on the idle gear and the cam shaft with the crank teeth Remember that if the timing of your engine is out, the fuel average will be disturbed and engine power will be reduced. Noise or the sound of the engine will be abnormal. This is the timing mark in the camshaft gear. 
This is the timing mark on the crankshaft gear. They are matched with the idle gear. This is the fuel pump gear. There you can see the timing mark on both of them. The fuel pump gear and the idle gear is matched. That is the simplest way of installing the timing gear. Now we will install the fuel pump. If your timing is out, your engine won't start. And if it's few degrees off, your engine will start, but the performance will be badly disturbed. This is Bosch fuel pump. And the Perkin phaser engine. There you can see. The Bosch fuel pump. Now the fuel pump is fitted. We have to install the gears back in its place idle gear and the fuel pump gear the camshaft gear has already been installed which is operating the valves There you can see that the camshaft pulley or gear and the fuel pump gear are being adjusted according to the idle gear. These are the timing marks. This is the gear for power pump or you can utilize it or anything. As this engine is installed in a generator, we don't need this pump or this gear to be used. That is spare. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe the channel for more.